Hey guys, welcome back. This is Skywalker. This is Borderlands 2. We are running right back into the town of Oasis. We're going to continue where we left off. Let's go ahead and get back into the action and we'll start the quest uh, Burying the Past. If only this thing would stop aiming up, that would be excellent. <sighs> So we gotta pick up the explosives uh, for burying the past. Some chick at the she messaged us, messaged us at the um, catch a job station, and we have to pick up her explosives. Whoa, trunk driver. for agreeing to destroy Graham Graham's old ship. I don't want to tell you the kind of stuff she was guilty of, but let's just say it rhymes with child schmafficking with some schmanibalism on the side. Got good news, folks. I finished my last episode of um, God of War 3, so that is the very last and final episode of the ending. That's my first Let's Play all the way through, so feel free uh, to congratulate me in the comments if you'd like. Subscribe to my channel if you like the, the series. I'll be picking hot stories like that uh, in the future if I can. Uh, I did post an up and coming of um, Chrono Trigger, so uh, tell me if you like it or don't like it. Uh, it's about a 20 minute long episode or 16 minutes or whatnot. Um, that's an RPG. So again, I finished my God of War 3. Uh, that was my first let's play all the way through. I'm so happy. Let's continue this one. Again, we're doing burying the past. We have to play some explosives and destroy this ship, apparently. I'm sorry about the view. I'm trying to correct the auto correction with um, with my controller. It looks horrible. See how I keep it still doing that stupid thing where it looks all the way up. Got it out already. Come on, stop aiming up. Eat this, master! You've already lost! I hated him anyway! Alright, I, I think this uh, quest is coming to an end. Let's, uh, oh, there it is. We gotta blow this thing up. Oh, here's a chest over here I didn't even notice before, so let's pick that up. And the game can stop auto aiming up any minute. 
Great! Now nobody can find out I was ever related to that child schmafficking bitch. Get back to the bounty board whenever you're done here. I mean, I don't really care, but whatever. Surgical strike, a sniper rifle, and we also have a light scatter gun, which is a um, shotgun. So I guess let's go do that turn in. And we'll pick up some more quests. Uh, let's jump back into the main story in a little bit. We'll do one more optional quest and we'll jump back into the main storyline. And probably go meet up with Captain Scarlet. Burying the past, so we'll do that. Scuttle the Kronos with her great grandma erased from history. Aubrey can now attempt to live a normal life free of child schmafficking. All right. I goddamn hate my great grandma. Man's best friend. Okay, let's check this one out. Man's best friend, can you help Audrey Callahan with her stalker problem? Hey, vault hunter guy, need your help. My grandma used to be friends with Captain Blade, the guy who buried the treasure. He left his pet stalker to my grandma when he died, and she took care of it and stuff. But then she died and left it to me, and I'm like, I don't want to take care of a friggin' stalker, they're gross. So go kill it for me. It's an oasis somewhere. Alright, so we got a stalker we gotta take out. These guys are kind of tough. You'll see what I mean in a second. I'm going to wait for us to get a, a good visual. Oh, here we go. There's a Tritail Stalker. Two of them. Longbow Merv. Need out! Whoa, there goes one. You see how those things are teleporting and... Hey, you found a stupid thing. Ray, be careful. My grandma used to feed orphans to it. So if your parents are dead, like, be careful or whatever. You might be able to smell your orphan body. These things can fly. They can, uh, they have shields. They can also teleport. And they can go invisible. So these things are quite tough. Yeah, that's up. Uh, I'm not even going to make it. to teleport to our vehicle. Uh, you can do that sometimes. If your vehicle is still out there somewhere in the wild, if you go to a catch a ride station, just go ahead. If you want to go back to that spot where your vehicle was last at, you can hit a teleport to vehicle. Right there, the second option. And then I here I am right in the driver's seat and I can just run right back into the action. Out a oh, I got a rocket launcher right there. All right, 
That'll work. So those are the stalkers in this game. That's one of those, it's kind of like a Varkid, one of those wild uh, indigenous creatures. Or like a Skag or a Rack. And they're like little dragonoid things. Again, they have shields, they can teleport. Um, they can also go invisible, and they can fly at times. And so they are tough. They really are. It's hard to get a glimpse of them too, because they are fast. They are real fast. If you see these glowing things from the sky, I think that's poop. If you shoot them, you can get items. A little sack. Sometimes there's some on the ground, there's some hanging from the walls. Stuff like that. We'll do this turn and then we'll head towards the main storyline quest. I'm gonna grab this quest over here right quick. Say hello, darling. <laughs> Message in a bottle. You can find these throughout the the uh, Pirate Booty DLC. I'll do a few of them. Captain Blade's bottles. Inside the bottle, you will find a key. The key opens a chest. The chest has loot. The loot will help you kill things. Find the chest, my friend. Get off my vehicle, little guy. What is he doing? Uh -oh. this. Cool story, bro. Looks like we got ourselves a skin back there that I don't have. That's good. Oh, I'm down. Come on, buddy. Burn. Nice. That guy was gonna chew him up, honey. Some iridium. Yeah. All right, takes care of that. I got on the wrong seat, I got on the gunner seat there, but I don't want to be in the driver's. Like I said, we're going to go do those turn-ins, and then, um, we do the main quest. Oh, I gotta grab something over here. marks the spot. Message in a bottle, find the hidden treasure in Oasis. You uncover the hidden treasure, proving that messages in bottles hold a purpose beyond sappy melodrama. Blade's log. Had to stage another fake execution today. One of the cooks was caught stealing from the treasure hold, so I had to pretend to kill him to keep the rest of the crew in line. Gave him enough cash to disappear, shot him overboard with a blank. Uh, keep 
Looking at this face, some Captain Blade retains a hell of a lot of work. All right, we got ourselves a new weapon for this one. It is a unique weapon. Again, if you find a weapon like you see here, uh, if you see red text in the description, it is one of those unique weapons. And this one's uh, Captain Blade's Orphan Maker. We're going to go ahead and uh, put it on for a while. Maybe we'll, I'll give it a couple shots. Looks like this one's got some backlash on it. It actually does a little damage. See when I shoot it? My shields go blue, which is an indication that I'm taking some kind of damage. But it's got an insane amount of critical... I think it's like 850% critical hit. Kill Tinkle's a stalker. Stalker always cute and fuzzy until they grow up. Alright. Yeah. Money. Alright, we got our first Woo. slag weapon. We're also going to toss that on just for fun. Pretty close to level 16. Slag weapons. Um, when we first reach Sanctuary, one of the, f the first or second episode of, of reaching Sanctuary, we had Marcus explain what these weapons do. There's that one. So if you slag something, all you gotta do, you can do extra damage to it after you switch to a different type of damage. So you slag it first, and then you switch to, say, like a fire weapon. And it's really going to do a lot more than it used to. So that's a good thing about slag. Um, for now, we're going to switch quests to the main. If I even have it yet. That is the uh, the main story. I'm looking. Okay, study in Scarlet. Find Captain Scarlet. So we're going to switch to that. On to Wormwater, folks, with uh, Slag Weapon and Captain Blades with uh, Widowmaker. Was it Orphan Maker? Shotgun. To find, we're gonna find Captain Scarlet out here in her in her pirate's boat, her her galleon. <laughs> It's getting dark outside. They they got day and light in the Borderlands too, or yeah, day and night. Huh, that is skiff coming from Oasis. That's a all right. Well, Sandman wants your part of the compass, bitch. Hand it over. And I'm being attacked. Great. Wonderful. Hey, stranger, you give me a hand with Sandman's boys. I'll make it worth your while, alright? So there's our pirate ship. Let's handle these, uh, Sandman's guys. Got myself a catch a ride station in the back end of this. Kind of nice. I thought this was a little drab for decoration, but it'll have to do. You're gonna lead us to the treasure, huh? I 
Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna loot this later. I'm gonna get on up there so we can see... I think her introduction, and then I'm gonna cut this episode short after that. Nice moves out there. You're a vault hunter, yeah? Never met one of you guys before. The guns, the power, it's all very striking. If you're looking for the treasure of the sands, you've come to the right chick, but... Oh, I'm being rude. I haven't even introduced myself to that a lot. Sorry. I'm, um, Captain Scarlet. <laughs> nice to meet ya. Alright, uh, so there you have that. That's gonna be Captain Scarlet right over yonder. We will, uh, end this episode with that. This has been Skywalker, here? and I will see you guys next episode. Bye-bye.